Hello, it's Lewis here from the VBOX CS team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a poll into your PowerPoint slides using the VBOX add-in and create it directly using the VBOX PowerPoint add-in as well. So let's go to our slides. I'm going to click on the VBOX icon here to insert a poll. If you haven't got it in your ribbon, just go to add-ins and then search for VBOX. Now we've got it in our ribbon, it's going to open up the side panel and I'm going to click get started and log in to my account. I have a few extra steps because I've got a, a specific VBOX account here, um, but you'll just be able to press login and hit your password and then hit login. I've also got access to lots of different accounts, so I just need to find my own. Now I'm logged in, I've got my session information here and all of my different sessions that I can use. I'm going to select the add poll in PowerPoint demo session. I've got a little warning, so this session is not started, so I can start my session from here. However, for now, all I'd like to do is just add in some polls. I've got no polls already created in my session, so let's go and create a new poll. I'm going to multiple choice, let's do a simple uh, yes, no question. Is the sky blue? Add in my choices. Yes, no. Um, I can add in a correct answer. I can add in my correct answer explanation. I can add images to my poll, so I can insert an image. Here are some images that are already in my personal library that's created. Alternatively, I can upload a new photo, or I can go to the image library. I can add images to the poll question as well. And I can use custom poll settings as part of the new release from VBOX. So I can add specific settings for this poll or I can just use the default poll settings on my account already. So let's press create. That poll's now been added to my list of polls. I can then add that in, so add slide. And that's created my poll slide. I've got my poll slide and my result slide and that's ready to go. That's how simple it is. All we now need to do is make sure that our session has started, go into slideshow mode and run our polls as we normally would. So that's it for this video, but if you have any other questions, please do get in touch with us at support at and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.